What does being an ambassador of Jesus Christ and being a son or daughter have in common? Stay tuned, we're going deeper. Church, Pastor Mike here for another night of going deeper, man. I hope you're enjoying these. I hope you share these with your friends. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, share the like button or whatever. That helps us let people know, man, of what we're doing on Thursday nights or Friday nights or whatever day that you're watching this. But let us know that you're enjoying it. Also, leave a comment if you have something you'd like to, for us to talk about or want to have more information about something, then of course you can let us know. So today, as I said in the intro, what we're going to talk about is how does being an ambassador relate to being a son or a daughter? And it's powerful because last, our last Going Deeper, if you weren't able to watch it, we talked about the orphan spirit and how an orphan spirit, man, you have no family, you have no acceptance. There's insecurities and fears and stuff of the unknown. But now the Bible says we've been brought in. So I want to kick off tonight and are going deeper. Before we get to Sunday's message, I want you to look at, I believe it's Romans chapter 8, and I want to look at verse 15. Romans chapter 8, beginning in verse verse 15. I want you to catch this. I think we actually talked about this before, but it says, for you did not receive 
the spirit of bondage again. In other words, you're no longer a slave. When you become a believer, you are no longer in bondage. And watch, you're no longer in bondage again to fear. One of the greatest, I said probably the strongest um, telltale sign that you're dealing with an orphan spirit is a spirit of fear. And we'll talk more about that here in a moment. But it says here in Romans 8, 15, For you, do not re- you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you receive the spirit of what? Adoption. By whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Many times if you hear me communicate or talk, you'll hear me use the word Abba, which is like a saying Daddy or Daddy Father or Father. It's an intimate Hebrew word for the name of Father. And so we cry out, we've been, we've received, when you receive Jesus Christ, and now we have the guarantee of the Holy Spirit, we also receive a spirit. It's almost like a seal of the adoption as a son and daughter. Well, Pastor Mike, what does that have to do with being an ambassador? I'm glad you asked, and I'm glad you're here tonight, because this is the part that I want to go deeper on. See, because you are a son, because you are a daughter, you're no longer living with this uh, this spirit of an uh, orphan spirit. In other words, you don't belong, and you walk in fear, and you don't know what you should do, and, 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 and this insecurity, and this fear of the unknown, the fear of the future, you now are... And when, you, and when you step into that identity, now you can step into being an ambassador because you understand that you're a son and a daughter. Well, that's what I wanted to say is that I wrote this down that, that as, a, as a son or a daughter, our job when it comes to being an ambassador is to represent what? What do we represent as sons and daughters? Think about that in your earthly family. What do you represent? Something that I told our boys as we were raising them up, the one thing that you had to hold on to was your family. I, sometimes you've heard maybe the thing that, that blood is thicker than water, you know, and blood's thicker than anything. You protect your family. Well, that's really what this is about. Because when you and I grasp the understanding, not just of the one new man, but that we have been bought with a price from, from Christ and brought into and adopted as sons and daughters, we're no longer orphans. See, as a Gentile, we didn't have this family, this spiritual heavenly family that we got to belong to. And so we were actually orphaned. We had no father. And we lived our life searching for adoption. And how do we do that? By worshiping false gods, worshiping idols. We would create, they would create all sorts of images to worship because they were trying to fill this void of the orphan inside them. Can you imagine that? But now, because of Jesus Christ, we've been brought in as sons and daughters. So, as a son and daughter, what do we do? How do we live? We live as an ambassador. And we use the scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20 through 21 on Sunday. And this is what it says. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading, watch, through us. See, God is pleading through you as a son or as a daughter for what? We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. See, because you are a son, because you are a daughter, that makes you an ambassador, and God is using that relationship, the relationship of son and daughter to him, that we cry out, Abba, Father, as a means of telling the world, be reconciled to God. Isn't that amazing? See, you're more than just someone that just gets to come in and set up camp and go, okay, hey, I belong to this family. Now I'm going to sit on the couch, eat juju beans and bonbons, right? Play video games. No, what God is saying is now we implore you to go out into the world and tell people about this amazing father that you have. That's why I'm not ashamed to tell people about my father, about Abba. I'm not ashamed of my new inheritance, my new heritage, which is coming from eternity to now. And then verse 21 says, for he made him, this is Jesus, who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. See, as an ambassador, as a son and a daughter, you walk in complete righteousness. Well, you might say, well, Pastor Mike, you don't know my life. You ain't seen kind of stuff, but it doesn't matter. God views you. When he looks down from heaven, he doesn't see the old Mike. 
he sees the new Mike created in Christ Jesus for good works that he created beforehand, right? So now let's look at real quick in uh, 2 Corinthians, we want to have 820, we're there. Okay, so I have one more passage of scripture that I want to share with you. And it kind of relates to what we're talking about as we get to ready to wrap up tonight. Man, you need to share this with someone. Because you know what? So many believers are living their life outside of the son and daughter. They don't understand the heritage in which they have. And they're still living on the outside as orphans. That's the power of the one new man. The power of the one new man brings us in to the family and into your identity. That's why you don't have an orphan spirit. Or if you're struggling with an orphan spirit, you can now decree, you can now declare, no, I am a son of God. I am a daughter of God. You're no longer bound by the sinful nature. You are now slave. The Bible says we become slave to what? To righteousness. What does that mean? Well, I just said it a minute ago that we have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Step into that identity and then represent it by becoming an ambassador. And I want to share it with these last things. We talked about this in, in, the, um, in our message on Sunday, that what is the job of an ambassador? So now what I want you to do is I read these, think of a son or daughter and how it applies to be an ambassador, all right? Number one, maintaining connection and communication. In this sense, as an ambassador, it's with your government, but as a son or a daughter, it's your responsibility, it's my responsibility to stay in connection with who? With my father. That's how I grow relationships. That's how I build relationships, is staying connected to my father. Number two was understanding the policies of my government, right? So we understand the government, but now it's bigger than that. It's understanding my rights as a son or a daughter. This represents not just God's word, but your covenantal, your covenant rights of a son or a daughter. And so the next is carrying out the policies of the government. So now we live our life representing the kingdom of God. We represent the new family that we belong to as a son or a daughter. Then speaking the words of our government. See, you talk, you live, you act. Everything about you was created by your mom or your dad. As you were growing up, you picked up habits. Have you ever said to yourself, I'm, when I'm a mom, I'm never going to say this to my kids. I said the same thing. I said, when I'm a dad, I'm never going to say this to my kids. Guess what I found myself doing? Saying the exact same thing my daddy or my mama said. Why? Because I speak of what my father and my mother taught me. Well, now... As an ambassador to the kingdom and a son or a daughter, I'm going to speak the words of my father. I'm going to talk like kingdom children. I don't talk like this world. I talk like my father. I speak like my new family. And then finally, I'm going to be only concerned with the interest of our government. Have you ever thought about that? That if you get married, your concern is to your spouse. Your concern is to your wife or your husband. And then you have children. What is your concern? Your concern isn't about your neighbor's children. Your concern is about your children, your family, right? Well, now we are concerned with the interest of the kingdom of God. And this is why I tell people, man, especially when you get involved in all these politics, man, stop worrying about all that stuff, right? And some people say, well, it's our responsibility. We should be involved in that. No, I, I disagree with you. Because the Bible says this. It says not to get entangled with the affairs of the world. Man, we, to be in, uh, be in, we need to be entangled with the affairs of the kingdom, and what is that? Well, what did we learn Sunday? It's to be an ambassador. It's to plead with the world, come. Man, there's grace available. God loves you, and he has a plan, and he has a purpose for your life. And I'm going to let you go, man. I hope this is, 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 is challenging you to go deeper into the things of God. You are more than just an ambassador. You are more than a son. You are more than a daughter. You belong to the kingdom that is not of this world. Now, we're going to continue down this vein over the next few weeks, man. I hope you'll join us. Again, like and share this. If, if, I hope to see you on Sunday. Man, go online. Join us on our platform, elc.online.church. And man, grow. Grow in your faith. Grow in the knowledge of who God calls you. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you next week.